Um, so, no, due to again. the magic of studio editing, yep. we are going to In hop 40s, on with our me. first caller, and let's do it with a snap. You ready? Trois, deux, un. All, All right. right. You ready? Yeah. All right. Our first caller is John in North Carolina. John, are you there? Hey, guys. How you doing? I'm here. Hey. We're awesome. doing really well. Yeah, that's good to know. All right. So, uh, what did you want to talk about today? Well, you know, um, I was thinking about a call I, I, when I called in a, a few weeks back, and we talked about how uh, even atheists have those kinds of experiences that almost feel like they're unexplainable, but the difference is we recognize that our brains do funny things and that sometimes it's just coincidences. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, and I got to thinking about how most of the atheists I know uh, are atheists because of skepticism, and, and I'm, I'm the same way, but I meet atheists – I'm not all of the time necessarily, but fairly regularly, who believe in all kinds of weird stuff, like wooey stuff and spiritual things. And I kind of was wondering how you guys handle uh, meeting or dealing with atheists who uh, aren't, aren't utilizing that same skeptic nature in, in other areas of their lives. And like, what do you say to them when they bring these things up? Well, first, I'd like to say that either now on the call, but definitely also online and, and in further communications, I want to talk to you about which woo things they believe in, because I'd like to compile a list and see if some woo things are more appealing generally. To... I hadn't thought about it, but that's an interesting thought. I, yeah. I'll need to think on that and get back with you, but that's a good, that's a good thought. I like that. I would imagine that magic spells are <clears throat> less appealing because they seem like prayer, but... I... You know... Yeah, I think it's probably more like pseudoscientific like yeah. me medical stuff, I think. Um, I think that would be my suspicion. I think that it actually um, it, it runs the gamut. Like um, there are a lot of people who are atheists by our definition, but really, you know, they they, they kind of say I'm spiritual because they don't want to say the word atheist. Uh, and, and they do believe in a lot of wooey stuff. So there are people who say, oh, I can see your aura. Or, um, you know, they believe in crystal healing and, um, you know, just a whole bunch of weird magic shit. Um, because I'm a Leo, that means I'm not compatible. Yes! Oh, oh yeah. man, that was brutal. Yeah, yeah, just like that. Um, yeah, astrology. They common. use lame astrology, too. And, I'm and, sorry, just Chinese astrology is so much more interesting. It's all bullshit, right? but that one is way more interesting. Because you can find websites online that are poorly written that describe random shit. So. See, oh, I, yeah, myth is fine. I love myth. Just I, don't uh, believe it. I'm the year of the rat, I think, and my brother's the year of the dragon, so I'm very upset by this. Oh, and no, I, but, not, but also, I don't know what, what mine would be, but that is yeah. rough. But also, <laughs> right? what kind of rat are you? Because I have a friend... I'm who's... the kind of rat that's not a fucking dragon, Jamie. No, no, no. But see, here's the thing. It's, it, that's not your entire sign. There's all whole levels of bullshit that you really? don't know. Really? Yeah, so my friend that, I, that I'm interested in, she doesn't believe this either, but she is a feminine water rooster. So you... Have, no! And that's not her, her entire sign as well as like some other a stuff. feminine water rooster. So for all you know, you could be a masculine fire rat and your brother is a feminine... Wood dragon. You know, so it, just because he was a might, feminine wood dragon doesn't mean he'd be any less. Than that's true. My he could be a mask. Rat. That was you know, that was very that, that, casual yeah. sexism. That was bullshit. Shame on you. You know. Well, the th you know, <laughs> the thing is, most people who <laughs> buy into that nonsense don't know much about it at all either. Mm -hmm. And so, no. like, I actually had an idea for a while where I thought maybe I should start making my own, like just making up. Um, uh, you know, like your your daily thing, your you know your lucky numbers, and just kind of making it all up. Oh, here you're a Leo, so this is what you're gonna experience this week, mm -hmm. and like really working on it. Mm -hmm. But then, like, it just just I decided it was too much work. But uh, yeah, well, you know, if I, you if you're willing to bend on your ethics and your moral principles, you can make some serious fucking money doing that, man. Books sell, and they change every year. <laughs> and not only that, but you could do like a a, a five dollar a minute hotline. Um, that would take a lot of logistics. You can uh, bottle water yeah. from your bathtub and yeah. like sell the water for a bit, you know tons of money. Yeah. So uh, um, yeah, yeah. I, I would also say there's a whole uh, there was a period in my life where um, like I, I wasn't taking religion seriously, but I hadn't really found skepticism or whatever yet. And my approach to superstitions throughout my entire life has been like, ah, oh, no one really believes that you know, lucky pennies bring luck. 
or that you know breaking a mirror or, or any of that crap. My my mind like the, there are the number of times in my life where I've discovered, oh wow, people actually take that seriously, like. Really? There, the number of times that's happened is numerous. So I made up a bunch of random BS superstitions just for myself. Like, I had a specific way of entering. If there were, like, two sets of double doors, it's like, enter through one side on one set and then the other side on the other. And I feel like we should connect online and make up our own whole set of BS and then propagate it. As like, well, why is your BS? But never, never for profit, just for just for like a lesson. That yeah, was what I wanted to do with like, the uh, horoscopes, you know, just to kind of mm-hmm. pull the wool for a while and then be like, see, it's nonsense. I made it all up. Yeah. I if if you guys flesh it out enough, can I run a D and D campaign with it? Oh, dude, like, I love yeah. me some D and D now. Like, like, mm-hmm. like, like that's that that's kind of where my interest is. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting uh, I'm getting real into Jeff D's little tiny set he's working on. Oh yeah, on Facebook. Uh, yeah, I'm in the little chat group to talk about different ideas. Nice. I've cool. been. I've Are you been... a fan of the nonprofits as well? Sorry. Yeah, I, I, I'm I'm hoping to be a mod for them at some point, but um, yeah, they're still working some stuff out. But yeah, no, I, I listen to the nonprofits uh, all the time. Nice, okay. cool. Well, um, actually, then we definitely need to stay in touch. Yes, because, and because I the social media for the ACA is something I'm about to be. Um, well, better. doing that's that's yeah. that's something that he wants to. And I uh, I run D and D campaigns, and I haven't gotten to do one in a year, and so I would really like. Oh, to know. Right, I know. My DM moved away, so I haven't done it in a while uh, either. Maybe we could Skype you in. All right. Is this an open call to fans of Talk Heathen? <laughs> the largest uh, the D&D largest group. The largest D&D group. You know, group I, in actually, existence. I was I was considering because I play a lot of uh, uh, games on uh, PS4. I was thinking about streaming oh, on Twitch. Yeah. You told me about this and getting people like yeah. any any peop- anybody who's a fan of the show, you know, hopping in and maybe mm-hmm. running and gaming with me. Mm-hmm. And oh, that's uh, awesome. Yeah, yeah. Just just As, finding different ways to connect. If you uh, think Eric with people. should do that, comment. Well, one, just, like and subscribe whatever. on the YouTube. Do that anyway. Ooh. But comment. Bring it up on the Facebook page in the Reddit. Mm-hmm. Reddit r slash talk heathen. One word. And uh, actually, you can throw it in the comments of the YouTube. Um, Tell your oh, friends. Wait, you guys did a poll last time. Yes. Right? Do a do. We'll do a poll. By the on way, this one in by, post. By the way, the um, the results yeah, of the I poll. Heard the results. Are you shaving your head? And I like tattooing like a an intricate mural of birds of prey diving. Okay. Uh, so first, if I. Like my head and, birds of prey? Well, look. Yeah. <laughs> if if that would be better. If yeah. I shaved my head and tattooed anything, it would be Hitchens face on the back of my head so I could just be staring <laughs> so down could, all the people so behind you me. Pull, like just a disapprovingly from the first yeah. movie. <laughs> um, but you'll be explaining that when you're 80 and old. <laughs> yeah. But aside from that, this um, no, it was, it was, was voted that uh, Hitchens face. It was voted that I am not to cut the locks. I am to leave them. So it is going to be staying for as long as uh, that happens. As long as the fans dictate. Yep. <laughs> All hail the fans. You know dance, what? Eric, dance. <laughs> <laughs> I say do that it for the all money. the time. He actually yeah. does. <laughs> yeah. Come here and just throw dollar bills and see what happens. Um, we'll so, make it interesting. You know, I, I, I'm just just thinking back to the question. Um, how do we handle people yeah. that are that are that super um, woo woo, and, but not <laughs> atheist? You know, the thing is, then, is um, when you take a look at the atheist community of Austin, from what I've seen, from the people that I've met here, you know, there are different levels. There are different layers that we have because atheism is just the answer to one question. Yeah, and exactly. Most of us here also subscribe to skepticism. And being a good skeptic can get you to atheism. Um, it can get you to a lot of good stuff, and I think that it can uh, give you the best tools. And I, I'm, obvi- I'm obviously preaching to the choir, uh, yeah, choice yeah. of words, right? Yeah, yeah but, there was um, a... Yeah. But uh, it's, um, it's talking to people about that. Like, the first thing I want to do is tell them um, that it's... That, that, you, to question how they're propping up that belief structure. And um, in my day-to-day life, I've been trying to casually dismiss stuff like that. Um, you know, I, I, somebody was bringing up, oh, I'm going to an acupuncturist. Uh, 
And I was like, yeah. hey, is that, is that fun? Because, you know, that, that's... Okay, I haven't been very good at it. I've just been calling it bullshit. Let's really be honest here. Oh, sure. <laughs> Have you considered spending your money on a massage? That's a yeah. real thing. I, well, you know what? I actually got into an argument. Like a when someone says they're going to an acupuncturist, next time you say, is that like a band or something? <laughs> Uh, like you just don't even know what they're talking about. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's so then just, they have to actually explain it to you, like, for real. And then you can be like, oh, that sounds like nonsense. You know, the... Make the, them explain what it... Yeah. The only, thing yeah. That, the only thing that pisses me off that I have to, have to, have to stop is um, the pseudo-medical stuff. Mm-hmm. I, I, I don't think I've gotten the chance to really talk about it. Jamie, yeah. do you mind if I... No, share that although I, at some Go point, ahead. maybe at the end of yours, touch on where that overlaps <clears throat> with the pseudo dietary. Sure. I mean that falls yes. under it, but but I'll, presumably yours is like, ooh, I'll do, yeah. you know, can- super duper cancer juju is also yeah. something that you. So um, my uncle trademark. Um, I, I love him to death. Uh, he's an amazing person. Uh, he does not even live in this country. Uh, he doesn't really speak the language, so I'm not terribly worried about that. But um, he is um, <clears throat> uh, hes not doing well um, yeah. physically. Uh, he has cancer, and he's not, he hasn't been taking the steps needed to treat that cancer. I'm sorry to hear um, that, man. That's rough. It is, and it's, it's especially rough uh, seeing that it's something that's happened very, very slowly. He's, he's like a two-pack-a-day smoker, and he's always been. Um, and so it's not like we didn't see that coming. Um, yeah. But he's been very successful in his life, and um, now uh, he, he lives in Germany. Um, he's being preyed upon by these people who are robbing him blind. Um, oh. I saw that uh, he spent a couple thousand dollars on some machine that would send homeopathic waves to wherever you're at that will realign your organs in your body so that everything will work out okay. He's had people tell him they can cure his cancer. All he has to do, like, oh, oh, Miracle Mineral Solution. Have you heard of Miracle Mineral Solution? Yes, I have. It's bleach. It's bleach, John. My uncle drinks small amounts of bleach. And um, he's getting sold. He's getting sold it for tons of money. And instead, he's doing that instead of getting chemo and radiation because he's afraid of it. Because it's scary. And there are people who it take is scary, advantage of that. But it's also reality, you know. It is, um, but not uh, not. Um, <clears throat> it's not like that's something that's protected everywhere. Um, yeah. And there are people, and like just like in Germany. You know, um, that don't have the same protections in the United States. And that's funny, I'm saying that, but um, they call themselves doctors and they are just fleecing people. And okay. it's not the people who can take it, it's the weak, it's the elderly, it's the people who are desperate for anything to cling on to. And then they just cannibalize them. And it's, it's, it's horrible to see. So if I see yeah, anybody, awful. yeah, if I see anybody advocating that kind of stuff, miracle mineral solution, um, homeopathy, and uh, that kind of crystals. Stuff. Well, yeah. you, you know, if it's because you have trouble sleeping at night, fine. But if I see somebody administering that to a fucking child because that child is sick, and instead of doing something about it, you rub some dirt in it, you know. We can't have that. We can't let that be a thing. And we can't just say, you know, everybody gets their own because you're actually endangering children. You know, if if you as an adult want to destroy yourself by, you know, drinking bleach and shit, if you want to spend money on whatever that is, that's fine. But don't do it to children. And don't for a second think that it's okay to prop up that kind of shit because it's not. You know, it's not. There is there is an actual answer, and the answer is is that you are selling people nothing. You are selling them hope that's going to be shattered, and you're taking away their chance to get chemo, to actually get the help. Every minute that they're not at the doctor's taking care of that, they're they're closer to dying. You know, they're dwindling, and, they they're, are. and they're dwindling 
in many ways at, at other people's hands. I mean, it's like you said, adults, you know, do it if you want to do your treat yourself that way, whatever. Yep. And and I agree with that. Generally speaking, I'm pretty into into letting adults make their choices. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, I think it, it reminds me of a conversation we've all heard so many times on on like the atheist experience with nonprofits or back when Godless Bitches was running, though I've heard that's coming back. It is. Um, oh, was it announced already? Yeah, it's been Godless announced. Bitches yeah. is coming back. Which I'm really excited about. Um, but uh, he was on the New Year's Eve like special with Jen and Claire, I believe, was on. Yeah, um, Claire was on. They talked about it because Claire oh, awesome. be joining it. Mm-hmm. Um, so I'm really excited about that. But and we've all heard this conversation where a caller calls in and says like, "Oh, well, you know, I don't really believe in." necessarily these specific things or the, or the religion, religious practices, but why do you care? It doesn't harm anybody. And the answer is always, well, you don't know what it is, what it is or isn't doing. And I think when you, when an adult, like imagine Eric, you weren't, you know, we weren't like, I don't know how old you are, but imagine you weren't a grown man, you know what I mean? And your uncle was doing this and you talk about how you look up to him. Well, maybe you, as a, if you were a young child and impressionable, maybe you would then think that is what you should do. So I think adults, yeah, harm your harm yourself all you want, don't harm children. But by propping up these kinds of n- nonsense uh, treatments, you are, I think, uh, negatively affecting all kinds of people around you. Yeah, I you agree. set a, a bad example, and also you're giving money to people that fleece. People yeah, who can use that money to keep yeah. running yeah. their scam? Yeah, you know. So yeah, for sure, I agree completely with that. I would also like to piggyback on something you just said, which is yeah. that when you do this, you are causing harm. You're selling people bullshit when they could be getting help. And mm-hmm. I'd like to say that that's exactly why I do all of this. Because when you sell people, oh, a god exists, and you can pray to that god, and all your problems will go away, and this is a, a good way to think and process information and come to conclusions, you are selling them bullshit that prevents them from understanding the world around them when they could be spending their time understanding the world around them. It's not as deadly in a direct, demonstrable way, but it is as a mentally, it is a big a mental blockage as not getting chemo for your cancer. I, I know as I much agree as those completely. can be quantified. Like, even if all things were even, even if somehow you never spoke word to anybody, nobody else knew you were a hermit, well, you're still, even if it's not cancer that you're taking bleach for you know what i mean even if it's mm. simple things like the way you think you're i think you're harming yourself and again if you're an adult and you're not affecting other people i guess it's okay but there is harm and i think a lot of people fail to understand that and unfortunately sometimes atheists fail to understand that because they're not necessarily skeptics which was kind of my whole thing and it's yeah. it's really frustrating and 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 thank you that brought it back full circle yeah um you do um you do need to be a skeptic. It's not just about the God question at that point. It's where you go from there. And Absolutely. If you have that higher standard of evidence when it comes to the God question, why stop there? Be wrong. It's okay to be wrong. Just learn. You know? So, um, John, I think if... Uh, do you have any other questions? If not, I think we're going to move on to the next one. No, no, I'm good. If I think of something else, I'll call another day. <laughs> well, I got, well, you have my number now, too. Oh, yeah, wait. All right. John, are you on Twitter? Because I mentioned my Twitter handle once, <clears throat> but it was talked over by a caller, and people can't find me. I tweet, but uh, I, I'm, not, I'm not extremely active, but I do tweet regularly. But, yeah, I'd love to, I'd love to um, catch up with you guys on Twitter. Oh, cool. Um, well, I'm at reason underscore evidence. Uh, All right, I'll check that out. Cool. And uh, I will announce whether or not I hop on Twitch. Um, it's yeah. going to kind of depend on what people uh, say in the comments from here, okay. I guess. For a second, I thought you were going to say whether or not I decide to get on Twitter, and I was going to say, that's I what, that's exactly, that's what I thought he's gonna never going to get on Twitter. Um, you no, know, I'm a twit. I, I, I unfortunately can't tweet. I tried. Um, Usually that's what people call people on Twitter. Yeah, but... Well, I've you got more, more characters now, there. so you might be better off. Yeah. Yeah. All right, uh, John. Thank You're you so much character. for calling in. Thank you for being a great sport about this. We really appreciate it. And yeah. We yeah, guys. No, I appreciate you having me once again. I'll try to. I'll try to ping in uh, next week as well if I can. All right, Sounds cool. awesome. All right. All right, guys. You have a good one. Thanks for having me. You too. Thank you, brother. Good talking to you, John.